Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. So we're here to discuss today whether Shane Long deserves a recall to the squad based on his recent performances. So he started four games in a row in December. Uh, Norwich, Newcastle United, West Ham and Aston Villa. I know he was ruled out for a little bit through injury but he came back again against Spurs and came off the bench and played really well today. And uh, Southampton won 1-0 and Michael Obafemi came off the bench as well. So Southampton are flying, they're up to 11th in the table and uh, he struck up a great partnership with Danny Ings and I'm just wondering would he st set up uh, something similar with Didzy up front and coming into form nicely for March. So Shane Long, what do you think? It's a, it's a few factors though isn't it uh, when you look at it because his form obviously if it's good enough to get him in the team then it has to be down to them, Mick McCarty then whether does he fit into that, that form of a system that they're going to play against when they're playing away so then that comes into the factor as well um, like you think of the years before there were so many Irish players that were going through good spells of form but they couldn't break in the team because they didn't fit the, the, the format that the manager wanted so I don't know Like if he continues the way he is it'd be great to see him in the team but it's hard, it's hard to know isn't it really yeah. Um, look, one of the main reasons obviously he left him out say, for the qualifiers there against Switzerland Denmark and Dublin in October because he wasn't getting enough game time he's getting that now like you know I look at someone like the reason he would pick Scott Hogan back then was because he was getting game time he wasn't even on the bench for argument's sake say for, for Stoke I know James Collins <coughs> was doing quite well with Luton he's scored 8 goals this season but you know for me like I think he definitely is in there I know he's not scoring goals but this season either which you know Sheffield United which, Aaron Connolly is now with the drought three months since that brace against Spurs. Although it's similar to the two lads, he's playing quite well. He looked lively when he came off the bench today. And yeah, Boba Femi scored that cracker the other day and Stevens today against Chelsea. For me, definitely if he's fit, he keeps up his form. I can't see any reason why. He's a Premier League player. He's still causing problems in the Premier League. I can't see any reason why he wouldn't be effective for Ireland come March. Yeah. I agree completely. I think he should always be in the squad really because he gives a different sort of option for us up front he does run in behind where sometimes you'd see Didzy kind of comes out to the wing looking for the ball a bit Long will stay up there and he'll chase everything gives us more of an option when we need it as well against the tougher teams he'll hold the ball up well I think he should always be in really to be honest we missed him against Georgia and Switzerland as well because we didn't really have anyone for those two games so he should definitely be back in okay I see his contract is up in the summer as well. Do you think he deserves a new one for Southampton? And if not, maybe why not? Or? I think it's hard. No, I think they're saying today as well in the coverage on BT. He turns 33 later this month, so he is coming towards the twilight of his career. You look at Sahan, obviously Danny Ings, he's in banging and form. And he's only 27, so he's quite young. Che Evans was assigned for the summer from Birmingham. He's only 23, 24, so I think they're going to invest in time for him. And obviously with over family as well. Like if Sand were willing to offer him a contract, I see no reason why he wouldn't uh, sign on them, especially to say up in the Premier League, which is giving himself a good platform now. To have, but I'd be surprised if he is still a Sand in Premier League next August. Okay. I think Hassan Hilfel does like him as well, but um, with his contract running out, with all the young lads coming through at Southampton as well, all the fame, there's going to be less opportunities for him. It might be wise for him to maybe take a step back down to the Champions <coughs> back to Reading somewhere like that might take him on could be good for him good for his confidence getting back scoring as well yeah it actually originally when he signed it feels like now he's playing for Southampton for forever now like, but originally when he actually signed with him I actually didn't think it was a good move I didn't actually want him to go he was doing so well at Hull and West Brom and I felt because he would especially when he went to Hull it was him and Jalovich were kind of the centre partners and they did really well for those six months and the same as West Brom, he was kind of it's a focal point of a lot of uh, the play. Whereas Southampton, he became kind of a bit par, you know. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe it might be better for him, maybe to go elsewhere and, and kind of change um, mm. the club that he goes to, but also be kind of uh, you know a, a main a main a main uh, asset to the team rather than a, a bit par because he'd be playing it in the wings sometimes with Southampton, sometimes with the middle, you know. So. Yeah, maybe it might be better if he if he might go elsewhere. Well, what do you think? Yeah, I I don't think he's played enough for Southampton. Yeah. I don't know if they'll offer him a new contract. Yeah, yeah. I imagine he's on really good wages as well there. So, mm. and with the young players that the the, the lads have mentioned, mm. um, he probably will end up looking elsewhere. But there's still half a season to go, and yeah. Southampton look like they've found form. So maybe if he gets a, a good run on the team, he'll get at least another year. Yeah.